Hello everyone, my name is Gent and this is the first video, this is maybe like kind of a test video on a channel that I'm, I've just started up called Gent Watches. Um, essentially, I thought I wanted to start like a reaction channel just to see how it goes and to see if people like it, if I like it, if it's the sort of thing that I want to do. Um, so just sort of out of nowhere I started this channel and I'm just gonna start like making some videos and see how it goes. So if you don't know me, which you probably don't, um, just a quick summary of who I am to say that, you know, I'm, uh, my name is Jordan, but I go by Gent. It's a, a, my online name. Um, I'm a big fan of anime, which is why I'm doing an anime thing. I, I tend to watch like quite a, quite a bit of anime, uh, especially I like to watch seasonals a lot. A few years ago, I started watching seasonals and it's just really fun to keep up with seasonals. So um, I like I like checking out new shows. I like seeing what uh, you know what there is to offer in the new season. And I am pretty easy to impress generally. I think like I I'm more often than not going to like something than not. Does it, does that track? <laughs> I generally like stuff more than I dislike stuff. There's very few things that I like properly dislike. Sometimes I'll get bored by stuff and stop it, but I'll still I still won't, you know, drag it through the mud. I'm just not that kind of person generally, generally. You know, there are exceptions. Um, but anyway, uh, today I'm going to be starting a show called Ao Ashi, which it, do it doesn't seem to have an official English translation anywhere, but Ao means blue as far as I know from my Duolingo Japanese. And Ashi generally means leg from, from memory. <laughs> so is it blue leg? Um, I know it's a sports show, so it's a sport, uh, it's a soccer show specifically, um, and I'm a big fan of sports anime when they're done really well, or even if they're not done well sometimes, I just like sports anime, I really like the tropes. Um, my favourite sports anime, and maybe favourite anime in general is Haikyuu, so, you know, I'm not thinking that it's gonna, like, live up to the Haikyuu standards, I'm just looking forward to seeing a new anime, but I thought... Um, I wanted to give this one a shot. There's a few episodes out right now, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try it. I know nothing about it other than the fact that it's a soccer anime. Nothing at all. I haven't seen, I don't know the characters. I don't know, like, what, if it has a gimmick. Like, oh, this character has only one leg and is surviving in soccer. You know, like, I don't know the gimmick of it. I'm not expecting him to have one leg. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get into it. Sorry for the a bit of a long intro, but I did want to introduce myself for uh, this thing. And I don't know how the format of my videos will be yet at all. I don't know. I don't even know if this will be posted. Let's see. Um, but if you enjoy it, please leave a comment below just so that I can gauge sort of if if people are enjoying this sort of thing. Um, I sometimes tend to take notes while watching anime just so I can remember certain things. So if I look down, I'm not like checking my phone. I'm normally going to be writing a note or something. But uh, but maybe I won't. Again, never, never done a reaction video proper. So... Um, with that said, let's get into the first episode of Ao, Ao Ashi. <laughs> Hopefully I'm going to not completely butcher that pronunciation. Uh, let's do it. Ao Ashi. Ao Ashi was one word there, so maybe it's not blue leg. <laughs> cool little POV shot. That looks like a protagonist. Is his hair that weird? It looks very normal. <laughs> nice. Owie? Okay, he's wild. Ashito. He's got a deep voice. Okay. Okay. 
mm. one man show. Sometimes it is, genuinely in sports. Punch him. My man, have you not watched sports before? Having one good player is a very common tactic. <laughs> That's a sports trope. Oh, they have a lower reason for it. Okay. Oh, that's a punch with your head. That's a red card, surely, right? I don't know much about soccer, but that's a red card if I've ever seen one. <laughs> First touch. His mother? Sister? Mother. <laughs> That's where he gets it from. Was that the guy who looked impressed? Maybe not. That's fair. I would not. I would not have him either. <laughs> if he did, if I saw him do that. Four to six. They scored two more goals. Okay, so he's a free spirit and very emotional. Do they know each other? Nope. <laughs> oh, this is like right after the game. <laughs> I'd kind of like this guy on my team. I don't know who Marco Van Basten is. I don't watch soccer. I know who Ronaldo is. <laughs> okay. Okay. We don't normally have a protagonist. Oh. Yeah, I don't often see protagonists who actually have those skills to back that up. Which it seemed he did from the opening scene. Okay. He seems like a nice guy despite that. But maybe he's not so nice when people were like, we're not going to pass to you all the time. more goals I don't know much about soccer but I know that's a lot I did actually play soccer for a bit oh cool he just made a huge jump down there <laughs> Orientado. Seems like he has good teammates. Oh, well, that's... Makes sense to be mad about that, I guess. Hmm. Does he feel bad? If so, that's unexpected. when he headbutted the guy. <laughs> he remembers this? 
he gonna get it this time? Nope. <laughs> Is his positioning good? Just like naturally? Other than that. So that's gotta be good positioning then. He's just got a good instinct for it. <laughs> He's robbing him now. <laughs> this is noble. If you feel bad for your trash talk, that happens, I guess. Yeah. It's just sports trash talk. Oh, attacking his class status. Alright, attacking family. That's not that's not trash talk anymore. That's beyond sports trash talk. <laughs> Don't bring my family into it. Yeah. That's a lot more noble than it looked from afar, so. I love my son again. That's good positioning. <laughs> hmm, giving props to his team. Okay. I see you, Owie. The fact that he can verbalize it is that exciting? Get his number or something. I guess he knows the team he plays for, so he'd be able to get in contact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, okay. I was thinking that might be... That might be the thing. He's got a good mind for it. He pays attention. And remembers. Did he at least go home and, like, make sure his mother wasn't <laughs> thinking he was literally kidnapped? Oh, that's good, though. <laughs> He's dead. New protagonist. FCU. Tatsuya. High ambitions. Sick. A part end. B part start? Wait. That's not halfway, is it? Not, not, it's... A bit longer than halfway. I thought that was like the 10 minute mark. Aww. Oh, he'll be fine. Sorry, ladies. Got soccer to play. How far is that from them? Yeah, would it be like a scholarship situation, or...? I guess not. Hmm. Well then that's tough. He knows him. Pretty cool screenshots. Whoa! Look at that hair! You want that level. That level of competition. That's a good point. Just go to do the tryouts and we'll go from there. Enough for a fair train. Ah, what a good brother. Okay, I don't... Just a black screen right now. No proper ED by the looks of it. But we'll listen to it. This sounds like an OP song. I wonder if it is the OP song. It could be an ED song.
Oh, no, it definitely really sounds like an OP song. You can imagine the action scenes they put in this chorus. Oh, production IG. I didn't actually know they did this. Nice. Pretty solid. Is this an after credit scene or a preview? I can't tell. It looks like a preview. But they didn't say preview. Or is it just a recap? What is this? That's just a recap of screenshots. Okay. Next episode. Yep. Okay. Okay. That was the first episode of Ao Ashi. Ao Ashi. Ao Ashi. I... So here's... Uh, I'll, I'll talk about my thoughts on the episode in a second. Um, here's uh, the first thing that was like kind of tr tricky for me. Is I know that there's a manga called Blue Lock. Which is another soccer manga. And I know that Ao means blue. And I know that Ashi means leg, normally. Like, in some circumstances. I'm sure it probably means something else. Ao Ashi probably means something else that I don't know about. Um, or oh, his name's Aoi, actually. So maybe it, it's something to do... His name... Hang on, his name is like Ashito, isn't it? Ashito Aoi? So it, his name is shortened to Ao Ashi. That makes sense. That's why they didn't translate it, because it's just his name. Okay, got it. Brain has connected the dots. It was just confusing, because I thought there were literally going to be two soccer anime coming out pretty close to each other I think one called blue lock and one called blue leg I thought there was no way that this show because I'm pretty sure blue lock is very popular no way that this show would name themselves so similarly uh if they're gonna whatever anyway um so uh episode time now my knowledge of soccer is uh is I mean it's okay I in primary school I played um soccer for a few years, um, but I was like, without a doubt, the worst on the team. I'm I'm a basketball player now. I play basketball every week, um, but back then I played soccer just because my best friend at the time was on the team, and I uh, was absolutely terrible. I scored one goal in my entire time playing, and that one goal that I scored was against the worst team in the world. Uh, just to put some context on how bad this team was. Um, we were up by like six or seven goals or something at some point and our coach was like, you know what? We're gonna get our goalie to go in the opposite person's like box goal area um, During a corner kick and see if we can get the goalie to score his first goal ever right because he's a, a Lifetime goalie he doesn't play any other position than goalie That's how that's how uh, how bad the team was was we don't need a goalie we can put our goalie up in their box and it'll be fine. Um, which, looking back on it, not very good sportsmanship at all. But it wasn't my choice. I was very young. So, um, so I'm I don't I don't follow soccer or anything. So I don't know a crazy amount about it. But I I know enough to be able to follow what's going on. There was nothing in that episode that was confusing to me. Um, so so far, we've met Aoi, We've met the brother. We've met the mother. We've met this coach. This mysterious coach figure. Um, I don't know if he's going to be like a coach or if he's going to be like a, a manager or just like a, a mentor, you know, but there might be like another coach that's actually coaching the team. I have no idea. Um, that all remains to be seen. We haven't met who, like, who I'm assuming are going to be his actual teammates when he moves to the team. That's probably what's going to make or break the show. The protagonist is uh, pretty solid and surprising for me because generally with... Uh, these sorts of protagonists, you go like one of one or two ways. You go the very optimistic um, one who enjoys the game a lot, right? Um, and who is very sort of selfless. Or you go the other way. So like the the uh, optimistic thing would be like a Hinata from Haikyuu or um, I guess uh, Kuriko from Kuriko's Basket is not really optimistic. So maybe Sawamura from um, uh, Ace of the Diamond. Um... Or you go the other way, which is a very um, sort of selfish, uh, non-team player type thing. I guess if you look at Remain, if anyone saw Remain, which was the Mappa swimming, uh, not swimming, sports, uh, water polo anime that was a few seasons ago or last year or something. Um, the main character had both. And the main character was kind of two different characters. You got to watch it to, to find out. But there was... Um, there was a, a, a very aggressive, like, himself, and there was a very um, regular himself, but they weren't that at the same time. This character is both, uh, like, he both appreciates and loves his team and is very self-centered at the same time, 
which is a hard balance to get right, I think. And so far, I'm I'm pretty happy with how they were doing it. It seems like a unique enough approach to a protagonist character. Not that I don't even think it matters that much being unique in anime in general. There's a thousand anime that come out every season. It being unique is extremely difficult. And if you're being unique, what you're doing then is putting yourself away from tropes. And the thing is, tropes work. They're tropes because they work, because they've been tried and tested. And, uh, and like, I, I, I do some writing myself. I studied writing in uni. Um, I did a four-year degree, a double degree in media and arts, and I specialized in creative writing. Um, and the thing is, like, it the the story becomes so much more effective when you rely on techniques that have already been been tried and been used well. So it has to rely on the fact that he's... Uh, a go-getter. It has to rely on the fact that he, like, you know, has some sort of hot head. So there's a a particular weakness that we can get him to grow on. It has to be that he gives his teammates props so that we can actually like empathize with him. Um, and these are all things that work. And if you took those things away just so that you weren't going into the tropes, then you'll get into a point where you're actually making a character that's unlikable and that we don't care about. Um, there are obviously exceptions to everything I'm saying, but point is, I think they did a good job with that. Um, as an anime watcher generally, I'm, like, being completely honest here, I'm kind of, uh, shallow in the fact that I'm a straight man and I like female characters a lot. Not just because I'm a straight man, I also sometimes, um, get an attachment to female characters just as, like, a... Uh, I don't know. Like, it's like a weird fatherly instinct even though I'm not a father, obviously. Um, but, like, a, pr a protective... Uh, instinct where it's just like even if even if it's not like I like a girl because I have a crush on this character or whatever I, I I just find myself being easier to get attached to female characters. So uh, When there's a show like this and it's seemingly gonna be probably mostly male characters um, It has to do a little more work to get me attached a little more just a tiny bit but again, I'm pretty easily impressed so it probably won't be that much more and and again, Haikyuu is my favorite anime of all time, and that's 90% males. With that being said, Yachi is my favorite character, and so, uh, and Kyoko is pretty high up there, and a lot of the memorable characters that I always think of are f the female characters in the show. But, um, regardless, I still love the male characters in the show, and they carry the show, so. Um, regardless, it was, a, it was a good first episode. I am going to keep watching uh, this show. I have... I guess there's not really much to predict right now because this was kind of standard sports anime stuff. Um, if I was to, to guess based on tropes what would happen, he would probably go to the tryouts. He wouldn't quite make it for one reason or another. There'd be something that makes him like just fail, but then he does something to make him just succeed. That's just like kind of story structure stuff. Um, that's, that's, but like, that's a very general prediction. It's not impressive. I'm not going to be like, ah, I called it. I knew that was going to happen. Cause I, that's just a very general prediction. Maybe you'll just succeed on the first try. It is interesting that he is so good at soccer from the get go. It looks like, um, but we can definitely see that there are a lot of things he has to improve on. And maybe teamwork is going to be the main one of that because once he goes to this team, He's not going to be the only good player anymore because they've all done these tryouts that are really difficult. So he might actually be one of the worst on the team. And so he'll have to learn to be a, a role player. He might, but his ability to position himself, it seems like that's his main strength. So maybe he'll just be the person who gets all the clutch things. That would be interesting, right? If he was, if he became their clutch player, because when it comes down to it, like he doesn't get a touch on the ball as much and he has to learn to to uh, be okay with that, but then when it comes down to it at the last second, he's uh, he makes the clutch play. He wins the game, you know? That's that's just what I'm thinking, but I don't know. I'm looking for some hype moments. I'm looking for some good characters, good character development. It's weird that they said that he had the weird hair because I really didn't think his hair was that weird. In fact, when his teammate was talking to him like way later in the episode, he was like, I'm glad you're coming to our school. By the way, that guy's going to be very sad when he finds out he's probably not going to go to his school. But he's like, I'm so glad you're coming to our school. I think that guy had weirder hair. He had like a, you know, the shaved sides and the scruffy top. It's not like it's very weird hair, but it's more weird than than Aoi, who just has the regular fluff on his head. Anyway, that is my reaction to episode one of Ao Ashi. Uh, if you enjoyed this, again, this is the first time I'm doing this, so please make sure to 
uh, let me know below if you enjoy it. I have no idea what I'm doing with this channel yet, um, but if you have any recommendations, if it goes well, then I'll keep doing stuff like that. If I don't see myself enjoying it, it doesn't seem like something that I want to do, then, you know, uh, perhaps I won't, uh, I won't continue making videos on this channel and this will be like a one-off, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll give it the old college try. So, uh, hopefully I will see you guys next time for maybe the next episode of Our Ashi. Goodbye.